Mechanical keyboards. Mechanical keyboards use individual switches under each key, giving that satisfying click or tactile feedback. They're popular with gamers, programmers, and typists who want precision. They're louder and heavier, but incredibly durable. Models like the Corsair K95, Razer Black Widow, or classic IBM Model M are fan favorites. Some switches can survive over 30 to even 100 million presses, making them a long-term investment. Scissor switch keyboards. These are often found in modern laptops. The keys are slim, with a scissor-like mechanism under each cap. Typing feels crisp and stable, with shorter travel than mechanical keyboards. Example, you'll see them in Apple MacBook Airs, Dell XPS laptops, and Lenovo ThinkPads. They balance thin design with comfort. Folding keyboards. Folding keyboards are designed for portability. They fold in half, or even into thirds, so you can slip them into a bag or pocket. Most connect via Bluetooth, and are popular with tablet and phone users. Famous examples include the Microsoft Universal Foldable Keyboard, the iClever BK08, and the Jellycomb Foldable Bluetooth Keyboard. They aren't as solid as a full-size keyboard, but they're a lifesaver for travelers and digital nomads. Membrane Keyboards Membrane keyboards are the most common and budget-friendly type. They use thin pressure pads instead of mechanical switches. They feel soft, almost mushy, and are very quiet. Example. You'll see them on most office PCs and affordable laptops like basic HP Pavilion models. They usually last about 5 million presses, which is much less than mechanical keyboards. Chiclet keyboards. Chiclet keyboards get their name because of the keys look like pieces of chiclet chewing gum, flat, square with slightly rounded corners, and clearly separated from each other. Chiclet keyboards are usually built on scissor switch mechanisms. That gives a lighter, quieter press. Apple Magic Keyboard is one of the most iconic chiclet example. Flexible or roll-up keyboards. Made from silicone or rubber, these can bend, twist, or roll up. They're water-resistant, cheap, and easy to carry. But they feel squishy and slow, so not great for fast typing. Popular models include the Sungwoo Roll-Up Keyboard. They cost very little, but your typing speed and accuracy usually drop compared to rigid keyboards. Gaming keyboards. Gaming keyboards are flashy and functional with RGB lights, programmable keys, and high response times. They're mostly mechanical and built to take a beating. Many feature N key rollover, meaning you can press multiple keys at once without ghosting. Perfect for complex gaming combos. Models like the SteelSeries Apex Pro, Logitech G915, and Razer Huntsman dominate this category. Ergonomic keyboards. Ergonomic keyboards are specially designed to make typing more natural for your hands, wrists, and arms. Instead of the flat, straight key layout you see on a standard keyboard, these are either split down the middle or curved, so your wrists stay in a more relaxed, neutral position. The idea is to reduce strain and prevent issues like carpal tunnel syndrome, especially for people who type for hours every day. One of the first mainstream models was the Microsoft Natural Keyboard, released in 1994, which introduced a split design and gently raised middle to promote healthier wrist angles. Virtual Keyboards these have no physical keys. They show up on a touchscreen. Virtual keyboards went mainstream in 2007, especially the Apple iPhone, which made touch typing smooth and practical. Since then, they've become the standard on phones, tablets, and smart devices. Modern versions add predictive text, swipe typing, and instant language switching, making them more flexible than traditional keyboards. Projection or AR keyboards. These futuristic keyboards project a full QWERTY layout onto a table using laser, or AR tech. You type by tapping the surface, and sensors capture the motion. They're portable and look cool, but still more of a gadget than a practical tool. So, which keyboard do you using right now? Is that mechanical, membrane, or just your phone's screen? Drop your answer in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more simple tech explaining videos.